The Ohio Company of Associates, also known as the Ohio Company, was a land company whose members are today credited with becoming the first non-Native American group to settle in the present-day state of Ohio. In 1788, they established Marietta, Ohio as the first permanent settlement of the new United States in the newly organized Northwest Territory. Topic. Creation of the company The company was formed on March 1, 1786, by Rufus Putnam, Benjamin Tupper, Samuel Holden Parsons and Manasseh Cutler in Boston, Massachusetts. They had met at the Bunch of Grapes Tavern, located on King Street, to discuss the settlement of the territory around the Ohio River. On March 8, 1787, Parsons, Putnam, and Cutler were chosen as directors, and Winthrop Sargent was elected secretary. On August 30, 1787, James Mitchell Varnum was elected as a director, and Richard Platt as treasurer. Later directors included Griffin Green upon the death of Varnum, and Robert Oliver upon the death of Parsons. Topic. Negotiations with the government Cutler was sent to New York to negotiate with the Congress of the Confederation to help the company secure a claim on a portion of the land. While there, Cutler aligned himself with William Dewar, Secretary of the U.S. Treasury Board. Dewar and his associates formed a group of New York speculators who were determined to see settlement of the area west of the Appalachians. At this time, Congress desperately needed revenue. The prospect of sales of land helped settle controversy and secure the incorporation in the Northwest Ordinance of the paragraphs that prohibited slavery, provided for land for public education and for the support of the ministry. After the creation of the Northwest Territory, Cutler suggested that the governor of the territory be General Arthur St. Clair, who was then serving as the President of Congress. Once the President had appointed St. Clair to his new position, Cutler and Major Winthrop Sargent, the Secretary of the Ohio Company, signed two new contracts with him on October 27, 1787. The first was for the Ohio Company to purchase 1,500,000 acres 6, square kilometers of land at the confluence of the Ohio and Muskingum Rivers, from a point near the site of present-day Marietta, to a point nearly opposite present-day Huntington, West Virginia, for a payment of $1 million in government securities, then worth about 12 specie to the dollar. The contract also provided that one section of land in every township be devoted to the maintenance of public schools, another section be set apart for religious uses, and two entire townships be reserved for a university. The second contract was an option to buy all the land between the Ohio and the Scioto Rivers and the western boundary line of the Ohio Company's tract, extending north of the 10th Survey Township from the Ohio, this tract being preempted by Manasseh Cutler and Winthrop Sargent for themselves and others for the Scioto Company. Cutler's original intent was to buy only about 1,500,000 acres 6, square kilometers for the Ohio Company, but on the July 27, Congress authorized a grant of about 5 million acres 20, square kilometers of land for $3,500,000, a reduction of one-third was allowed for bad tracts, and it was also provided that the lands could be paid for in United States securities. On the same day, Cutler and Sargent for themselves and associates transferred to William Dewar, then Secretary of the Treasury Board, and his associates one equal moiety of the Scioto tract of land mentioned in the second contract. Both parties were to be equally interested in the sale of the land, and were to share equally any profit or loss. But, the Scioto Company interest was speculative, and their contract lapsed before they purchased any land. In contrast, the Ohio Company had a genuine plan of settlement. 
The company made its first installment of $500,000, but was unable to raise the second $500,000. It settled for a purchase of 750,000 acres, 3,000 square kilometers, plus the two townships for college lands and the reserved school lands and ministerial lands sections in each township, for a total area of 913,833 acres, 3,698.1. 5 square kilometers called the first purchase the lands were privately surveyed but on the same plan of townships ranges and sections as the adjacent seven ranges under the procedure of the land ordinance of 1785 topic <laughs> settlement at Marietta Ohio In 1788, General Rufus Putnam laid out the plans for Marietta, the first permanent settlement in the present state of Ohio. The Ohio Company sent pioneers from New England to the Northwest Territory. Their first purchase was in Washington, Meigs, Gallia, Lawrence and Athens counties. Difficulties with Native Americans during the Northwest Indian War, including the Big Bottom Massacre, led Congress in 1792 to donate 100,000 acres 400 square kilometers on the north edge of the first purchase as a buffer against incursion. The donation tract incorporated much of present-day Washington and Morgan counties. Many associates of the company held army bounty warrants, which they could exchange for federal land, totaling 142,900 acres 578 square kilometers. Later in 1792, the Ohio Company purchased another 214,285 acres 867.18 square kilometers in Morgan, Hawking, Vinton and Athens counties, using these bounties, with the one-third discount for bad lands, as in the first purchase. The second purchase had no sections set aside for schools or ministry. The second purchase is also known as the Purchase on the Muskingum. In 1796, the Ohio Company divided its shares and ceased to be a genuine land company. Topic. See also Hildreth, Samuel Prescott, Pioneer Historian, Historic Regions of the United States. Ohio Company Land Office Ohio Lands equals equals notes